Welcome back, YouTube. Oh my god. Whoops a doops. My work schedule got real hectic. You real so, quick. Yeah. Do you want to go quickly. into that at all? A little bit. Um, Firstly, you I, sound fucking super tired and wiped I am out. Really, I am so wiped out. It's 11 I just, p.m. I just pulled a 16 hour day and now I'm recording. Yeah, we're going to do one episode. You're going to go home, go to bed. This episode will go, go out. I'm going to go home, maybe do a little bit of paperwork, decide it's I have better things to do than paperwork. And do then knock out. Do I have anyone in the APC right now? I don't remember. I don't think so. It doesn't look like it, no. Nope. That's excellent. Because now I can... But you're going to go home, go to bed. And then tomorrow at like 1 p.m. we're going to start recording for real. Yep, yep. Because I have to record this and get it ready literally tonight. Yep. So, whoops a dupes. Sorry, guys. As does happen. Reload! Don't let them get Reload. away! Reload! Come on, board, damn you. And... Oh, God. I'm stuck on the geometry. You're stuck just a little bit. Go for the sandbags if you have to. Oh, fuck! fuck. Um, whoops. There you go. You're still in range. Cool. Sweet. Uh, Come on. There you go. There we are. So it was pointed out in the comments, by the way, that uh, when the... Uh, uh, when the boss tank came back around, it t it teleported a bunch of our units away from it so that it wouldn't like they wouldn't occupy the same space. How friendly! Just one of those things. I think it was Petty who pointed it out, it made me laugh. That will I get anything out of this? No way. I don't know. Nope. But that was that's just fine. You need to repair real bad too. Yep. Where's your closest engineer? Right there. Oh, okay. You're crass and rude and adorable, and it's the greatest. And amazing. Yeah. So, but yeah, no, long day. Uh, what happened there is another engineer got a full-time job and decided to drop his workload, which makes, you know, my my life a little difficult. Yeah. yeah. Like, I had the opposite. I had the opposite thing where I was working... Uh, Right. A six, I had a six day work week yeah. last week, which wasn't super fun. And I talked to one of my bosses and he was like, Cody, what's going on with you? I'm like, I'm so busy this week. I have so many things to do. I shouldn't be working a Tuesday night. Can I go home early? Yeah. And he's like, if you can get this stuff done before it gets to be like when you would leave normally, then as soon as you're done, you can go. And I'm like, okay, cool. I finished two hours ahead of schedule. That's amazing. That's so friendly. We're going to hide here behind where the tent can get us. Because that can't go poorly. It can only go well. And we'll pick the cactus again. Yeah. And just and roll on up. Roll on up. I hope you know that we have one more bout of creepy uh, creepy games oh, to record. Man, I'm so not ready for it. Stop, <laughs> stop talking it up because you're giving me some hardcore anxiety. If it'll make you feel better, I will play it. But it's not going to make it that much better because you still got to be there for it. Yeah, I know. You know what game it is, too. You look at it every time we launch the PS4. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Makes me kind of uncomfortable. Oh. Uh, All right, so he's going to scoot, deploy, ferry. You sound so tired. Oh, dude. Oh, yeah. After a full day, I can only imagine. After a 16-hour workday. I appreciate... Fucking damn it. Oh, I go around. I appreciate your ability to to knuckle down and go I'm willing to come out and record one episode one and then episode go home and pass out so that I can so that I can you know continue to you know function it worked it worked, it worked. Wonderful. Another job well done. oh there's shit. Uh, an auto gun up uh, right up there right up there yeah. yep <sighs> I'm really curious to know how you could uh, cheese this fight the way that was described in uh, the comments well, first and foremost, we got two beef, two beefcakes ready to. You gonna try and pop the? Uh, where are you going? I'm gonna try and pop that middle right turret. Uh, what? Where are you looking? It's it's targeting. I think on the other side of the tank. Ah. Because on this side, the only the only turret that's there is the one that's on the back. Or the, fr or the forward-facing gun, which we can't really do anything about. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm going to deal with the ones in back. Yeah. Oh, fuck, That's shit. Rough. Oh, there's two of them. Fuck. 
I didn't know there were two. I thought there was just one. Yep, that's okay though. That is okay. Largo can handle it. He's a big. He's a big guy. He's a big guy. Vegetables? No. Hey. That's fine too. I'm gonna march hand uh, up. Hand ah uh, up. Hand ah. Uh, I I had to think about yeah. that sentence. That's I, how tired that's, I am. Yeah. If that speaks volumes, I hope it does. I don't think anybody's going to give you any guff for being like, I'm so for tired. Working, like a 16 hour day. Yeah, exactly. And then coming to work. This is the, th you're in that realm right now where like, when whenever Franz comes by and, and records or whatever, or he's like, I'm so tired, I can't do a thing. I just go, okay. Because it's like, that's the realm you're in right now. If like, I'm so exhausted, I can't move. I can't even. I'm curious to know what the what the age group and work and work life part of the viewers are, like what that's like. What the demographic is? Yeah. Cause what what are what are awesome? God damn it, Margo. God damn it, Largo. So, to be fair, that's not an easy target from that angle. No, it's not. But full ammo on pretty much every turn, which is always nice. Ooh, that's fine. Uh, it's fine. Because once we get Lago over, we can just pop, pop that cannon and be out. I watched a movie, by the way, this week. Yeah. I was on Netflix and I was like, man, it's Halloween month and I haven't watched anything Halloween-y this entire time. Yeah. So there was a movie that came out a while ago from, uh, it was starring Daniel Radcliffe, the guy who played Harry Potter. Yeah. And it was the movie called Horns. Oh, I know exactly which one you're And he grows big to. devil horns and it's like, what's up with that? And I actually was like... Like, I remember seeing the trailer, and I'm like, oh, it's one of those movies that's just kind of nothing. Yeah. And it's one of those movies which is just kind of nothing. It's a film that exists, and that's kind of all I have to say about it. But there is some... It, there is one interesting detail to the movie. Yeah. It's the, de the, the whole premise is... So the whole premise of the movie, basically, is that he has this one girl he's super in love with. They've known each other. They live out in, like, Seattle or some generic, like, podunk town of, like... Insert insert you know yeah that type of thing we're going to heal hannah first hannah hey not a huge not heal, a but huge you're heal, alive but it's it's more it's better i would than say nothing. if you want to play it safe get i'm it gonna up. get ferry yeah. to pop that guy over there and then anyway they live out in some podunk town and they've been uh, apparently crushing on each other for years and years. They become, you know, like young 20 somethings or whatever. And then fast forward some indeterminate length of time. I might have missed it because I was also playing a game uh, while, the, while the movie was on. And she gets killed. And everyone's oh. like, you did it. Her body was in your car. Oh, it that's was so fucked up. It was clearly you. <sighs> and he's like, it wasn't me, though. And everyone's like, yeah, whatever. Fucking, yeah, like you, fucking whatever. You jackass murdering, like, piece of shit. And he's like, I didn't do it. But I didn't do anything. Like, rinse and repeat for the whole film, basically. So the horn thing didn't get handled at all the way I was expecting. No? Because I was like, he's going to try and hide it, and it's going to be like a Beauty and the Beast thing, like that movie Beast, I think yeah. it was called, where the guy's horribly disfigured, and the lady has to learn to love him in spite of the fact that he's, you know, horribly disfigured, which, you know, Okay, fan awesome. of the opera. Yeah, okay. very, very different thing, but that's where I thought the movie was going to go. All right. Instead, he wakes up after having a one-night stand with a girl he's also known a super long time. It's a, it's a small town. Everyone knows everyone. Yeah. And she's and he's you just know, like bad gas travels fast. In and he's small got town. these teeny little pinprick horns on his head, and he's just like, "Do I seem different to you?" And she's like, "Yeah, you've got little devil horns." And he and I'm like, "Oh, they just go with it. They, they just, just roll with it, address it." And I'm like, "All right, yep." And it's like it's actually kind of a good like a good it's, twist. It's a good because if good they chuckle. played it the way that I thought they were, I would have been really bored and kind of pissed off with it. Yeah. But instead, what they do is he goes. Doesn't that, like, weird you out? She goes, not really. I kind of, if I'm not looking at them, I kind of forget they're there. And he just goes, how? And she's like, I don't know. Well, like, why? Like, whatever. And then she's just like, you know, I think I'm a total piece of shit. I think I'm going to have, like, eight donuts and, like, a giant fucking two liter of soda. And he's like, are you okay? She's mm. like, no, I feel like shit all the time. But, you know, whatever. And just starts eating donuts and drinking and drinking Coke. That's not a very healthy coping mechanism. And he's like, I gotta go. So he leaves mm. with a hood on and goes out and mm -hmm. goes, I think, to a doctor. The first is his first stop and the doctor's like, hey, what's up? And yeah. he's sitting in the, uh, or no, he's, he's sit there's a scene before that. He's in the lobby in the waiting room 
and he's like weird growths, horns. I don't know what's happening to me. Uh, I forgot to heal the happen. Uh, no, you did it, but it didn't do a whole bunch by comparison because now it's been shot again. Yep. No, I meant to heal up before starting oh, the trek around the wagon. I see what you mean. Um, go now we can continue. He's in the lobby. Woman has an annoying little girl. Woman looks at him and just goes, you know what? If it was up to me, I would just abandon oh her on the side of the road. Oh my god. And he's like, why did you tell me that? And she's just like, I hate her so much. She never gives me a moment of rest. I can't. And it's just this weird thing where she starts to have like this whole monologue of how much she hates her child. Jesus. And he's like, that escalated. Uh, goes to his goes to talk to the doctor. Grenades won't work. We tried it, and you also don't have an action. But uh, but you can put down a ladder on this side and go down, and let them up. And you have enough moves that this might actually just be the end of the turn. Yep, that's assuming I get past. Fuck it, we're here. Yeah. So the doctor pretty much says the same thing. What horns? What are you talking about? It's like, not a big I don't deal. know what you're talking about. What are you, why are you freaking out? You know, that <laughs> right. owl thing. Yeah. I'm going to deal with that AT turret Sweet. real quick. Wait, the turret or the... Oh, I see this that one. That one. Gotcha. I forgot it was there. I didn't even notice it. Yep. It's like a, it's like if you had devil horns. I would have I forgotten about them. <laughs> it's like if I had devil <laughs> horns. <laughs> So, so it's revealed over the course of the movie that bad people, when they're around him, it yeah. brings out their worst nature and they just say whatever they want because they're around. Because they can't control they themselves. They can't control themselves. And he's like, this is horrible and I hate it. And he goes to his parents' house and he's like, surely my mom will have something nice to say. She's like, I hate you and I don't want you to be my child. And he's Damn. like, uh... <laughs> And he goes to his dad, and his dad's just like, I like your brother more than you, and oh you killed your God. girlfriend, and I hate you because she was better than you. And he's like, Ooh. okay, and goes to talk to his brother, who's a musician at a nightclub. And his brother's just like, I remember the fact that I loved her so much, and we were going to cheat, and, I w and she wouldn't let me, and I got so mad at her, and then I don't remember anything from the night she died. And he's like, did you kill her? He's like, I don't remember, probably. Probably. And he's like... Fuck. Well, this is getting out of control and beats his brother up and gets arrested by two cops. <laughs> and who, yeah. through the course of the movie, he's like, oh, you, t you two are just going to tell me whatever you want to tell me because, you know, I can do that apparently. Right. And they're like, dude, I'm so gay for my partner. And they're both just like, dude, I'm so gay dude, for you. <laughs> that's amazing. It's this really weird twist. And then the end of the movie comes and he's got one friend who's like, he's been real good to me. He doesn't know the horns are there. He must yeah. be a good guy. He must be a... Must Do you want me a... to spoil this movie? Yes. Because you're never going to watch it probably. That's fine. So you get to the end of the movie and his buddy is just like, all right, here, I... Uh, he, no, he's, he's like, dude, I know what you're talking about. Please chill out. And he like... like they, fucking they, he like kind of like shifts his weight I or walk, something. I, I practically... I could have padded like... Oh my god, Hana walked right past this shock trooper. I didn't even know he was there. She oh, it's because he blew smacked, up the thing. She could have smacked his ass and no one would have been the wiser. Is the other radiator exposed right now? I no. don't think so. No. He's going to be a problem. But his one buddy, the two of them are talking, and uh, Daniel Radcliffe reaches over and he pulls out... It's his girlfriend's cross. Oh. It was around the dude's neck, and he's like, where did you get this? And he's like, it's mine. He goes, no, it's not. It's hers. Where did you get it? And he's like, she gave it like, to me. And he's I'm like, gonna repeat the she, question. Wore, she wore this every day. She did not give it to you. What the fuck? Right. And he pulls the cross off of him, and he goes, wait, do you have devil horns? And he goes, and it turns out that his friend isn't good. He just had the cross, and it was protecting him. That's and it turns out that he also super loved this girl and went crazy because she rebuffed him yeah. and fucking murdered her and raped her not in that order and Damn. it was super horrible and it's really graphic and uncomfortable that escalated a little too quickly it's for my liking bad. the end of the movie is really hokey and stupid and I didn't like it at all because he just goes full Satan at one point and literally turns into like a devil from fucking Dungeons and Dragons Jesus. where he's got fucking like charcoal skin and he's like seven feet tall and it's really weird and he's like he's still got Daniel Radcliffe face right so it's kind of strange looking he gets revenge he kills the guy one of the gay cops gets his head blown off because after confronting the thing that he was so freaked out with and not happy with like I'm skipping a whole bunch of shit because it's not a super interesting movie right but like the whole thing is just like oh yeah we'll be together after I die and then he fucking gets stabbed a shitload by the guy by his 
air quotes friend right. and ends up dying as a result. Right there. It was a movie. I didn't like it very much. I don't have a lot to say about it other than apparently 15 minutes of things to say about it. Yeah, you know, just not much. It was a weird movie. I can't say if I recommend it or not, uh, but like if you want to watch a weird movie where Daniel Radcliffe just goes around and there's one there's one scene that I really liked. Okay. He's walking to his car as or walking you know, from his car to a as uh, we do. to a bar rather and a bunch of reporters chase after him because they want to scoop. Yeah. And he goes, "Tell you what, you guys beat the shit out of each other, all of you. And whoever yeah. survives, I'll give you my exclusive story. Interview that. one-on-one, -on -one, nobody else. Nah. And they go fucking ape on each other. And he comes Damn. back after the whole scene inside the bar mm -hmm. where like a dude like flashes his dick at everyone and there's a bunch of weird stuff. I'm not going to get into it. It's quickly. real stupid. So all we have to do is, is end that last AT cannon and we're good. I think so. Oh my god. Are you okay, sir? <laughs> there he goes. Well, every time she was she was interrupting. Yeah, the, and I the had, movement I had, action. What? I don't understand. I understand. It's not it's AI being weird. This Nobody was taking damage for a second. No, it was just showing the health bar. Oh. Because that was the target that they were shooting at. Uh, it's done that every other time. It's not it's nothing. Uh, as I as I yawn. Again, oh my God. going on your 17th hour. Are you going to be okay to drive? Yeah, I'll be fine. All right. It's just like, oh, socializing in complex circumstances might be a bit too much. Might be. Might be. A whole, like, driving wakes me up. Yeah. Which is strange, I know. Well, you're uh, talking to somebody who everything puts me to sleep. Yep, yep. It almost makes me feel kind of narcoleptic. It makes you feel narcoleptic? Yeah, because it's like, just okay, socializing can be... A little difficult. Oh, I see what you mean. I was I was confused. Yep. Damn it. There we go. Okay. Damn it. Direct hit. Direct hit. Uh, we'll be fine. Yeah, I don't know what it is about me. Ever like anything. Do you see where the Haffen moved? Wow, she lived through that. I yeah. didn't see the Haffen move. No, I moved it. I moved it between. I moved it farther down. Oh yeah, that's what they were talking about before in the comments. Yeah, it just it just it teleports what? out of the way. What? what? They just grew another unit. Yeah, they do that every time. Another two units. No, but we didn't blow anything up last turn. Oh. The unit on the tank is the t is the anti tank cannon on the right side. Yeah, I know, but like I had cleared off all of the units. Yeah, every turn that we that we damage them or that he resurfaces, guys come out. Really? Yeah, every single turn. Damn. It's three every single time as well. It's one on each side. Well, two now. Yeah. Too easy. She can just stand there and. What else did I watch that I was going to ask you about? Hmm. Yeah, whatever. Look at all those turns. I, I opted to bank all all of the turns. I'll talk about D and D in the next episode. By the way, we're not quite done yet, but I want to preface that I'll get to it when it's ready. It's just not ready yet. I don't care what happens to me. Bye bye. That was wonderful. Another job well done. I'm excited to finish this. Me too. For a couple of reasons. One, because it's been going on way too long, but way also too long. Also, because I'm excited to see how it's going to end. Yeah. Is it going to end like Rogue One? Spoilers. <laughs> Spoilers, the end of Hamlet. You have to go. Uh, you can ignore the AT cannon. Yeah. Not bad. You got some moves. You got some moves. The way you. I'm thinking about Killer Instinct again. <laughs> thinking about Killer Yo. Instinct. You got what I need. I've been thinking about picking up an N64, and when I tell you why, you're going to be like, all right. Hey, look, we oh, just finished shit. it. That was all we needed to do. Oh, my God. The problem is it takes a turn after every single, you know, time you take a pot shot on the tank. It's yeah. Quiet. Did we really stop the tank? I d it doesn't feel like it. No. Because there was a... Because there was that big radiator on the front next on to the, the front in the cannon, and I was like, "That's going to be real tough to shoot at." And then it's like, "Nah, mission's over." Uh, I disagree. Yeah, what about those paratroopers that we couldn't deal with? Oh my god! Yeah, you remember the paratrooper mission? I don't want to. It's a fucking bullshit mission. I'll tell you that. That was hard. Now we can go save Angie. Wait a minute. Where's Riley? She's still in the ship. She's still in. Why would you ask that? Is she still on the Centurion? 
Did he? Did of he? Of course she's still on the ship. Why would you think she wouldn't be on it? I know it's dangerous, but please. Are you gonna fucking get Miles killed? You got it, Claude. Well, ever someone needs to die. We had that already. Raz died. I got a. I got a thirst. I got a. <laughs> what rent? D. Yeah. D. D stands for delicacy. For dedicated. For delightful. Dignified. Hmm. For dangerously cheesy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> God, I remember that. Yeah, you do. Oh my God, hitting me in the childhood. That dates me super hard. Yeah. I'll save you. As you, as you, oh my God. Oh, fuck off. I killed the enemy. Lord, oh God. Are you alive? I did not fail. Not like oh, that's right. She yeah. was the one who exploded herself. You just got like beat up. Yeah. The one time I don't put my phone in silent mode because I don't think anyone will message me at fucking 11 p.m. My mom's like, here's a picture. Here's a picture, huh? Okay, it's not a bad one, though. It's a series of text messages. It's this OMG, I just watched walk by a karate place. They're letting kids wear their Halloween costumes during practice, and I just saw Kylo Ren get his ass kicked by a taco. That's amazing. That's not bad. That's unique. That's, oh my god. That's good. So good. We're out of time. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. D asked the area with the quickness. Did you hear that they will, they, uh, they're they going to announce Overwatch 2 on uh, at BlizzCon? What? It's going to be PvE oriented. <laughs> which I'm cool with. That's fine. But I Blizzard mean, has to get its shit together or I'm not going to buy the game. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, me not, Sorry, too. not sorry. They said it's going to base, the people are saying, oh yeah, it's basically going to be Left 4 Dead. I'm I'd be okay with that. Me too. Oh my god, she's shot. That's kidney. Well, at the very least, she's got two. It's true. We hope. For all we know, she probably sold one of her kidneys for Ragnite. <laughs> That's what she did. She can get a transplant. Raz isn't using them. Oh. I don't think Raz has any organs left to donate at this point. It's true. They're probably rotten. Probably. Eh, it's the frozen north. Maybe not. Uh, you can't really transplant transplant a, an organ that's been frozen. frozen. No, I'm not saying it, that. I'm just saying it wouldn't necessarily be rotten because it'd be frozen. Mm. St oh, animation. For once. Every like seven episodes we get animation. What the f how would shut up if they make us fight them both and be so fucking mad because everyone told us oh. that was the last mission everyone told us <gasps> still not really animation though. Andy. yep look at her hair Andy. it's so stilted you can see the individual groups yep So is this happening the entire time that the fight outside's happening? I assume. Because when the fight started, she was able to to stop the explosion. Yeah. But like, yeah, look at those anime tears. Big, gooey Ghibli tears. Ghibli tears are the best. We should watch a Ghibli movie on this TV. Oh my God, I have I have them. I me too. I think I have I have Princess Mononoke. It's the only one. We should watch Howl's Moving Castle. It's an idea. In 1080p. This is a 4K TV. And handed it over to the United Goddamn States. No questions asked. Oh, it's just. <laughs> That's gold. The United Goddamn States. The fact that she just calls it the United States is so like uncomfortable. My blind hatred did this to you, Angie. You know, now that she's been hurt like that, they're gonna have to just put her down with a shotgun, right? Crown the witch. Dad did not invent Ragnite compression to hurt yeah, people. Yeah, Leopard Dead reference. He didn't refine his theories to continue. Which reminds the cycle me, every time we would play Left 4 Dead, my the MO I would adopt was melees and shotguns. Yep. 
I consistently had as many body counts as someone with, you know, rocking the SMG. Yeah. For you too, Angie. You were born to be happy. Riley, with don't... the frying pan. Yeah. <laughs> Riley, I don't necessarily. I will. I will get you out of here. Ah, eh, never mind. The thing I was gonna say doesn't matter. There it going goes. Super Saiyan. Is Riley gonna die? Oh, oh, oh. Don't oh. be combat music. Don't make That's us fight combat anything else. Music. Let the game be over, goddammit. Can't you go any faster? Sorry. The road's really Give it all. She's got Captain. Yeah. She's old. Straight up. Riley, answer me. Riley. Damn it. I can't get through. You know. Riley, are you okay? I'm Swiss cheese. You saved her? I'm on my way. Where are you? Roasting. I can't move. Oh no, it's the end of that fireman movie. Ladder 49? I don't know. Riley, hang in there. I'm fine. Hearing your voice. It's not the it's not backdraft. Okay. Oh, I know. What, what that is quite literally the effect. I'm uh, fairly confident that what they did Hoffman. was stick a microphone in front of a fan. What? No, I'm talking. I what? Hoffman. No, I know you're talking about the 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 sound effect. I'm talking about the movie reference. Um, we will. Really, I totally really didn't soon. catch that. You're gonna rebuild that when so right? it was flying. You're so still in engineer far. mode. It was sto st la, 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 la. It was flying so far over my head, it was looking for a landing strip. Ladder 49's got such bad fucking numbers. 41% on Rotten Tomatoes. Oh my Shit. god. We may have to establish a, ra uh, a riff track. Crumple Zone riffs with some shit hot guitar licks. <laughs> Here I am, talking over her bur her death, talking about shit hot guitar. I'm not sorry. How about the Star Child Festival? Oh God, that thing that you guys haven't referenced since like the second or third uh right chapter or whatever. Something something Star Child. Get out of here, MCU. You don't need to be it. You don't need to be here right now. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. We can't turn back the clock. She said Kai, and I was like, but the sniper's the outside. And I was like, oh yeah, the other one. Only appreciate as an adult. When we get back, let's make some new memories. Happy ones. If you get back. Isn't Miles inside the ship trying to get to her right now? I have no idea. Well, he said go in there and get Riley out, and then we haven't seen him since. Well, I mean... Happy memories to make back in Hoffen. You and me together. No right? gift. Maybe they will. Riley! Oh, 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 I think that's animation. Uh. Where'd Miles go? He was supposed to be in there. He's probably wa waiting uh, in the truck. Not again. Look at the... Did you see his sh his shoulder just clip through himself? It's fine. Fucking beast mode engaged. He comes out and he's got a, like a melted like Phantom of the Opera face. Oh my god. No, dude. It's like Indiana Jones and the te uh, Temple of Doom. <laughs> It's just skeleton. Where he, where he just, like, his face melts off of him like soup. How the fuck did you survive? That's a big tank. Where are Niccolo and Chiar? Are they gonna fucking hyena you from the Lion King? Oh my god. Do it. Do it. Oh my god, it's gonna happen. They're gonna, they're gonna fucking... <laughs> hey, Cody. Do it. Do it. Do it. Click it. Click that button. 
I am just I am just the kind of tired where I can accomplish do it. Yep. Let's go let's get that. Did you? Oh man. Now eat him. No, of course not. I have so much left to do. Why did you just finish Adam hitting it? Help me up. We need to get to the Budget constraints. And... Yeah, probably. Or time. Probably both. I fail. Lord Belgar. You are a failure. Oh shit. Nonsense. I never fail. Quickly, Nicola. Is Chiara gonna be like half of an exploded head? I know. Let's go together. <laughs> Good girl. Now. Something about the way he said that may be very uncomfortable. Yeah. Wow. Don't be scared. God damn it. It will only hurt for a moment. The self-destruct switch. When did you? When she helped you up. That might absolutely be when. Failures, just like you want. We heard Shiara talk, though, right? Shiara I'm not misremembering that. I have no idea. I don't remember. Oh, you don't remember the last 30 minutes, I imagine. Nope. <laughs> N Nicola, stop. Don't you dare. This is definitely the hyena scene. The fade to white was a little too slow. I would have been perfectly fine if they had just flashed white. There goes his cane. His cane. Yeah, the walking. Oh uh, yeah, I was yeah. I was trying to come up with. Okay, I was trying to come up with something witty to call call his cane. Like a lipstick. Also, by the way, animation. Mm hmm. Yeah, like a lipstick. I was working, I was working, and I was working at gigs several years ago. Mm hmm. And I was like, oh man, I just gotta get my gloves. And then, and one of the other engineers turns to me and says, you mean your bitch mittens? <laughs> oh my god. I'm like, Rags. I don't need to get, I don't need to, like. Oh shit! Are they going tank jumping? It's are like they face gonna, jumping. Are but... they going to do the cool drift from the anime? Do it. Did I ever show you that clip where... It, uh, oh, they they stalled. Uh-oh. It's going to Titanic them. We gotta get away. But there was totally room on, on the... On, on, on the big door. On the door. We're Just like there's here. room on the... She's going down. Oh, oh I see. So Miles would have driven the tank up and waited and kept it running while uh, yep. Claude went inside. Okay. He should like, I understand the... The idea of now Angie's going to power it. That's crazy. Why would you say that? Because because it's obvious. It's obvious. <laughs> Here they are treating treating Valkyria like and they keep batteries. going and they keep going. No one will help us. Oh no! What do we do? If only there was someone who was strong enough to actually power. Are they going to plug her in? Just, <laughs> are they going to take this giant like? He's right. They literally showed she's got weird back plugs. So. Yep. Or is, are they going to power it with sheer will alone? Now it's my turn to be a sacrifice. And that's all there is to it. I appreciate that Claude's just like, I guess I'm just going to fucking die. I do appreciate that. I do appreciate the look on his like face, though. That was good. I'm sorry that it... It wasn't strong enough. <laughs> I tried, man. That's the same look... Shot. I swear. That takes me back to Cowboy Bebop. I thought you were going to say it's that Hughes look. It's that Hughes look. There it is. But it's also like that look where, where Spike, Spike's sitting in the, in, you know, in the cockpit. He lights up a cigarette and goes, well, shit, whatever happens, happens. Yep. Now pop that shit in neutral and reverse Roll. your way back. Is it? Hey, Do it. I'm getting us out of here. Go, go, go. Yep, yep. I thought they were stuck. Oh, maybe they didn't have the kind of the kind traction of pickup to get the off the acceleration, rather. She's telling us to live. It reminds me of that thing from Love, Death, and Robots, uh, Lucky Thirteen. Oh yeah. 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 
They, they're like, oh no, we can't stop the brakes and they just We're, kill everybody. They just roll over like the entire platoon. The whole main cast just gets crushed under the tra the, the tank treads. Yeah. That's still a very cool ship design. I don't care what anyone says. I don't care what anyone says. The it's ice got splitter. I don't care who you are. You are too close to that ship going down. Yeah, I, I'd try and not be too close to that because you guys are on ice right now and that thing is... Something something thin ice. Yeah. So something something walking dead season two. You can lose three characters in one scene because everyone oh tries God. to help each other. What? Yeah. That's so fucked. It's not a good season. Mm. After season one, it's just not worth playing, basically. Mm. That trombone fill. Mm. I thought it was going to be Amazing Grace for a second. I almost shit my pants. <laughs> This is not the last episode. No, no, we still we have, got we still got maybe a few more, like three probably. Because we haven't had a Oh my god, will we finish this today? We'll finish this tomorrow, technically. We'll finish this well in our be, next session of and, recording. Yeah. Oh my god! Can I get a high five on that. That's the end of the game. That's the end of the fucking game. Fucking hell yeah! Oh my god! Just over a year later, we're doing it. Right. We didn't hit two hundred episodes either. We got damn close. We got damn fucking <laughs> close. Well, hey, we still got three more episodes. Yeah. We don't know how many episodes that'll take. It's true, we don't. So it could always be another, you know, we could, it is well within the possibility. Yes. It's probably not, but still, yeah. Yep. So we're here in the credits. What do you, what are, what are your thoughts on Valkyrie Chronicles 4 now that we've gone through the entire thing? All right. You that was a dramatic improvement over over one okay in terms of mechanical you know, stuff in terms like all of the quality of life things they added like yeah. made tanks viable yes made them fairly integral yes. without taking the pressure off of your infantry units, yes which all right i wish they had they gave you the option of having more than one tank yeah like more than two mm -hmm. um because that would add a, an extra layer there mm -hmm. um i think um they were de i i feel like the story was a little rushed it was very stilted and awkward in my opinion um but i think i think the technical the technical uh the technical workarounds they they threw in more than made up for that yeah absolutely um we were able to come back just about every single time and go, mechanically, I'm fine with playing this, with the mm. exception of, like, the extra missions were a little tedious and stuff. The, right. the beach thing was kind of like where we were like, all right, this is getting a little long. Like, too. five episodes to get a bikini. Like, Not hello. worth it. But I would say, mechanically, this is a direct improvement over the first one. Yeah. But in terms of the story, it is a massive step backwards. Like, um, I, I, do, I do I do, think they did, they were, they went above and beyond in trying to recapture that recapture that well whilst adding different types of challenges yeah. although i do i i i was a little sad that a lot of the missions just felt the same after a yeah. while and um, they were they were different enough because you do encounter that in the first one where the right. missions are very similar right but the environments are varied enough and there's enough right. interesting things going on between story and like character development right. and like actual plugs of like where you're going and what's going on. Right. Um, unfortunately, I think that also lends uh, means that since a lot of their stuff has to be done in a, uh, in, uh, a very specific way, mm -hmm. it's less about like it's more about guessing the right units rather than accomplishing like uh like taking a wild stab at what kind of roster you should have yeah. um and if you got the right roster i mean it's going to it's like that's going to make or break the mission yeah um like there's probably ways that you can cheese missions like crazy and do all kinds of dumb stuff right and that, we uh, did it with three engineers and snipers only like okay it was fucking weird but sure right or we boxed the tank in yeah like that 
kind of want to try that again off screen to see if we could sit like if that could be a consistent yeah thing you are now officially with the exception of like two hours of collective content of playing Valkyria Chronicles 2 which I really don't count basically caught up with me in terms of Valkyria experience mm. like I watched a little bit of the anime and I read a little bit of the manga and it's all very it's all VC1 like it's great it's, and yeah. I think I think a lot of it like I do appreciate a lot of the work and you know a lot of the forethought that went that went has gone into this franchise yeah um, the the character design, even just like the level design, yeah, is breathtaking periodically. Yeah, the level design in this was absolutely incredible. The the, the additional strength of the technology let them open up these maps and make them much more interesting by comparison to the first one. So, if this were a car, where would you think it crumpled? <clears throat> See what you did there. Yeah, yeah. That's not a good analogy for me. Where do you but, think where do you think its fault point was? I don't know what the analogy for the story is, but that's the fault that's the the failing point every time cuz even the characters when given room to breathe and just do stuff were good. Every time we did a side mission, we had a great time with it yeah. because the characters were just fucking hanging out and talking about themselves and doing things. Right. And that's the big one as opposed to the story with like the actual story which felt it felt like it wasn't connected Oh my enough. god. Oh, I super knew there was going to be something else. I, I didn't, didn't. I wasn't sure about it, but I was like, it's I, a Valkyria I, game. I thought they were going to be like, hey, bro, high five. Big high five. Big title. high five. Hey, there he is. Is she still going to be wearing the weird dress? Yep. Yeah, yeah yep, absolutely. They didn't model di something different. Is she going to be pregnant now? Or is he marrying her? No. He's just be. He's just being too much of a gentleman extra her design's really good Cremaria's mm -hmm. both of them have great designs yeah yep yep look at the real main characters over here the ones that I liked way more than the actual main right. characters Those Sorry, are. but she doesn't beat, uh, <laughs> she still doesn't beat Silvaria. Silvaria's a way more interesting character to me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <sighs> I'm happy with this game. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. It's not my favorite. It's ne uh, like, I was talking, who was I talking to? I was talking to my D&D players. Right. And I said, there are, very, there are very few games that I'm willing to buy more than like, do you Once. hear that? When I... Oh, that was really weird. I was talking as the bass was hitting, and it sounded like there was weird reverb in my headset. Anyway, uh, I mean, I could, I could totally, I could totally bring my delay unit and turn your, no, and turn your headphones into an idiot box. Please don't do that. Are you? Do you know what I mean by yes, idiot? Yes, I do. Oh my god, it's a shut the fuck up machine. <laughs> I am. I have been very tempted before to ho hook it up through my system. And just fuck with people. And fuck with people yeah. on high. Especially when I can just patch it directly through Discord. Mm -hmm. Does that strike you as weird? A little bit. Because, wait, is that implying that Riley died? No. Or, I know it's supposed to be for Kai or Raz. Right. Rather. Or both, probably. But it's weird because, uh... Because Kai wasn't they're the gonna one get, who was... They're they, gonna they get will, to it. They will get to it. But that struck me as odd because there's no one... Like, they wanted, instead of making Kai, uh, Kai's, like, right, thing they brought, somber and sad, they added a character to it to make it feel more sort of hopeful for the future. Right. But it's weird because they were... Cause Angie and Kai never really had like a super. Oh, like, I haven't seen. Well, we haven't seen like we haven't Claude seen and Riley, Claude yeah. and Riley, but and I'm sure that'll have to. She count. got back from the war and fucking put a gun in her mouth. Oof! This, a lot of people did that. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Lots of people did that. Yeah. Or they came back with weird germs and then just died. And died. Yep. There we go. Him and Welkin are like best friends.
Hey, there's the picture hey. from the beginning. When we first set out, all we really knew was that we had something worth fighting for. None of us could have foreseen what the fight would cost us. And maybe... Maybe we'll never know if it changed us for the better. But in the end... That... Through all the hope... All the tragedy... <laughs> the things I hold on to... Are the memories of my friends. Of their smiles. It was a battlefield, but it was where we grew up. Oh, she fucking died. Nah, they're gonna, it's a fake out. With the unexpected announcement of a ceasefire, the Second European War came to an abrupt end. Leaving soldiers and civilians alike to count the Eastern Theater's almost unfathomable losses. A death toll numbering over 10 million. What the it had been what? A conflict beyond anything the world had ever faced. Man, fuck the United the States of Vinland. I want to hear what happened in fucking South America. In population. Or, excuse me, South Vinland. Or whatever it would be. Cygnus and of the Valkyria themselves was swiftly hidden from the public. Oh, yeah, Hydra nukes. And so, this story of those who crossed the frozen sea passed into history untold. That's weird. Yep. Oh, 30 second armored Zyga Ranger. Zyga so apparently there was a chance that one, that the soldier you send away with Raz can come back, and Zyga did not come back. He did not come back. Okay. With some awkward exceptions, when people accidentally got murdered for reasons, everyone's fucking alive. Yep. Crystal Ward. Who the hell is who, that? Who is Crystal Ward? Who the hell's Crystal Ward? That's nobody I know. Nobody I. Wait a minute. That's uh, Minerva's number two. Oh, because she because she the has entire because the story. She lost her plot armor. Yeah. Watch this. Like we, there was actually like an alternate way to solve the mission. Saving clear data. Access post game content by loading this save file. Rotate it. Oh my god, we're overriding the fucking paratrooper mission that I was talking about. <laughs> Good riddance. Good, fucking goodbye to that shit. Kiss that save goodbye. Remember that from like six Mwah. months ago or whatever? Don't want that to. That was Valkyria Chronicles 4. We're not done. We will be back for the epilogue. It's probably going to be two, three episodes, depending. Give or take. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Because there's a better ending that we have to unlock from doing that. And we will get to, to do it. the thing and win the points, and we will see you next time. And then we're going to follow up Valkyria Chronicles 4th Code Vein. Oh. So look forward to that. Woot. I have to edit a 50-minute episode, so I think we're going to call it a night. Uh, better you than me. Oh.